So really all your remainder theorem is saying is if you have a polynomial function, which is what we've been looking at, if you divide it by an x minus c, we did that on the warm-up, our synthetic division, right? We divided, it was an x minus 3 that we were dividing into. Remember that? Um, so we can kind of put that there if we want, that x minus c that was on that warm-up, x minus 3. Then if you divide that out, what remains or your remainder will be f evaluated for c. And in this case, our c would have been that 3. And that's all it's saying. Okay, so I'm go we're going to evaluate, we're going to, we're going to divide, if we're going to divide with that x plus 2, what's our 0? What's our 0? Negative, Negative 2. So we're going to evaluate this for, uh, for uh, x to be negative 2. So let's do that. So we would have negative 2 cubed plus 3 times negative 2 squared. Yeah, keep track of me because I'll... It's 2 times negative 2 minus 1. All right, did I get that right? Okay. Now, when you do these, these are really long, right? This is lots of terms. You have lots of negatives. Pay attention to your order, your PEMDAS and pay attention to your negatives when you do these. Kind of go slow and double check your work. So we'll start with the negative 2 cubed. So if I take negative 2 and I cube it, what's that going to give me? Negative 8. Now, we're going to come, we're going to move on to this one. So you have 3 times the negative 2 squared. What do you do first? Square, Square it. You do always do your exponent first. So what's negative 2 squared? 4 and then 4 12, times 3. 12, 12. Uh, we're good just to multiply. 2 times the negative 2. <coughs> and then minus 1. Okay. Negative 8 plus 12. Would that be 4? 4. four? No, it'd be four, positive four. 4. And then 4, so that'd be 4. 4 minus 4 would be? Zero. And then? So we're just left with negative 1, okay? So what you just found was, so this was the remain. So this is the remainder. Okay? Okay, again, if you have a polynomial function, which is what we are working with, right? Then your factor, x minus c will be a factor if and only if, once you evaluate for that C, once you evaluate for that, your answer must end up being a zero, okay? So that's a way to check. It's kind of a check to see if you actually do, um, if, you, if your binomial that you're working with is or is not a, an actual factor. Oops, I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to decide if this x plus 1 is in fact a factor of our polynomial. So we'll evaluate it for that 0, and we must end up with a 0 for it to be true, for, for it to be a factor. So let's put that in. So the negative 2, negative 1 cubed. So when we first start off, we have to start off again with your, your power. So what's a negative 1 to the third power? Negative 1. Negative one. <laughs> now multiply that by the negative 2 and you get a 2. two. Okay. Now, a, right here, a, do your uh, square. What's a negative 1 squared? One. one. So that would be, and then times that negative on the outside, so it would be minus one. And then four times the negative one would be negative four. I'm losing the plus three. What are we looking for? What are we needing? 
Zero. Are we going to get a zero? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Two minus one would be one. One, one minus four would be negative three. three. Negative three plus three would be zero. So what did you just find? You found that, in fact, the x plus one is a factor. Yeah, we're going to do the b on this one. We're, we are going to do the second one. Now, we're going to decide if the x minus 1 is also a factor. So we're going to evaluate that for f of what? f of 1. So let's do it again. This one's quicker because you don't have to mess with your negatives. Oh, squared. Okay, so real quick, of course, 1 squared is 1, so we just have negative 2. This minus 1 plus 4 and plus 3. So what's that give us? Negative 2 and negative 1 is negative 3. That would cancel out the three. positive 3, and we would be left with 4. four. So is, is x minus 1 a factor? No. no. So you would come up here not... A factor. No. Okay? So that's your factor theorem. It's kind of like a guess and check to see if you got it. Any questions on that?